I-16 Property, Plant and Equipment Safety and Environmental Costs This serves as a summary of the total content of I-16. Accounting treatment consists of recognition, measurement and disclosure. Currently, we are focusing on recognition and specifically initial recognition. Aspects surrounding components and spare parts and the influence thereof on initial recognition has already been discussed. The focus of this presentation as is the effect of costs incurred for safety and environmental reasons. The relevant paragraph from I-16 is paragraph 11. Items of property, plant and equipment may be acquired for safety or environmental reasons. The acquisition of such property, plant and equipment, although not directly increasing the future economic benefits of any particular existing item of property, plant and equipment, may be necessary. There's a keyword. These costs is necessary for an entity to obtain the future economic benefits. Such items of property, plant and equipment qualify for recognition. What does it mean? It qualifies as property, plant and equipment. Because they enable an entity to derive future economic benefits from the related asset in excess, there's also a keyword, excess of what could be derived had those items not been acquired. So keywords here, it's cost incurred for safety and environmental purposes. It doesn't directly increase future economic benefits. It's necessary for future economic benefits in excess of what would have been derived had those items not been acquired. The example that this paragraph gives us is a chemical manufacturer that installs new chemical handling processes to comply with environmental requirements for the production and storage of dangerous chemicals, so they have to incur these costs. Without them, the entity is unable to manufacture and sell any chemicals. But by itself, the handling processes cannot generate future economic benefits. So therefore, these costs will be capitalized, but then very important. And this is a key aspect in this paragraph right at the bottom. However, this resulting carrying amount that you have now increased has to be reviewed for impairment in terms of IS-36. Now, we have not yet done IS-36. But it is a topic that's covered later this year. So when we do IS-36, you'll have to refer back to this paragraph in IS-16. Let's quickly summarize. We're busy with recognition. An entity has incurred safety and environmental costs. These costs by itself does not increase any future economic benefits of an asset. But without it, the entity cannot obtain any benefits from the underlying assets and therefore it will qualify for recognition as property, plant and equipment. But as we've mentioned before, property, plant and equipment may not be overstated. And paragraph 11 specifically ensures that we will not overstate property, plant and equipment by capitalizing these costs. Why? It says... This carrying amount, this resulting carrying amount that has now increased when you added these costs has to be reviewed for impairment in terms of IS-36. And just to briefly highlight what IS-36 is all about, this standard ensures that you do not carry property, plant and equipment at an amount higher than what future economic benefits it is associated with. So let's look at an example. Tommy Limited installed special filters at a total cost of 6000 So they incurred costs. And we have to decide, can we capitalize or not? It's required by law on a machine in order to prevent damage to the environment. So they have to incur these costs. Without it, cannot use the machine. Assume the filters are not separately identifiable components of the machine. So that it means... It is not separately depreciable. The carrying amount of the machine at this date was 120,000. The recoverable amount was 125. Now, recoverable amount is a concept coming through from 
I is 36. I know. But you have to understand a little bit of it to understand this example. Because the carrying amount is less than the recoverable amount, there's nothing wrong with this asset. It's not overstated. The recoverable amount, however, the 125, will not increase after the installation of the filters as there is no direct future economic benefits from the filters that will flow to Tommy Limited. So the revised carrying amount of the machine will be calculated as follows. We started off with 120. We capitalized the filters because we're allowed in terms of paragraph 11. So the new carrying amount is 126. But in terms of I36, the recoverable amount has stayed 125. So the 126 carrying amount compared to the recoverable amount of 125 indicates that the asset is no now overstated because we've capitalized the cost of the filters. So there is a resulting impairment loss. Just for you to understand a little bit of what the effect of the impairment loss is, the following journal will be processed. Debit impairment loss through profit or loss. It's an expense and you credit accumulated depreciation. And the credit to accumulated depreciation causes the assets carrying amount to decrease. So although you've capitalized 6,000 to the asset, you've increased the carrying amount, you had a resultant decrease of 1,000. So after all of this, you can conclude you have not overstated your asset. So in summary, we're still busy with recognition. We have evaluated the safety and environmental costs against the recognition criteria and we concluded that it may be capitalized. It's part of initial costs incurred, but very importantly, we had to test it for impairment to prevent overstatement of the property, plant and equipment item.